Hello everybody, it's Lady Dre, 1977. I'm back with another video. So I wanted to talk about the very sad situation that occurred with a woman who was an astrologer in Los Angeles. Her name was Danielle Johnson, I believe. And she was an astrologer, a healer, and she did some other things. But she would end up, she had two children and a boyfriend, and she would end up killing her boyfriend, killing one of her two children, the youngest child. The oldest child survived her injuries, and she would end up killing herself driving in her car at a high rate of speed and running into a tree, killing herself. And you have to wonder what in the world was going on in her mind. I can't truly say what was going on. I just know that this is a very disturbing story for somebody to have done that. And what I want to get into is what she was supposedly doing as far as practicing in the occult. Astrology is part of that. We're not supposed to be into any type of occult practices. And I talked about that in uh, one of my previous videos. We were talking about ancestor worship and tarot cards and Ouija boards and um, crystals, crystal balls too, uh, horoscopes. We're not supposed to practice those, Christians or even believers, because those things can come attached with demonic spirits, familiar spirits. And I believe what may have happened was if you go back in the Bible, it talks about a king by the name of King Saul. And he lost favor with God because he was disobedient. So there was an upcoming war between Israel and the Philistines, or I don't know if the Philistines were coming to attack Israel, but King Saul would get scared and he couldn't talk to the Lord because the Lord wasn't talking to him anymore. And he had put all of the mediums and witches and all those types of people, he would put them out of the land. Well, he would actually end up consulting a medium anyway and when he went to the medium he asked her to call someone back and he would request the prophet Samuel the prophet Samuel was dead by this point so he would call for her to bring back the prophet Samuel and he would come back through her practices her witchcraft practices but it wasn't really the prophet Samuel it was a familiar spirit that would come back and that familiar spirit would come back and tell King Saul that the Philistines would defeat Israel and that he and his sons would be dead at that time the next day people you can consult mediums or do these practices and have these familiar spirits come and tell you things. And I wonder if a familiar spirit or some type of spirit told her something that was true. And she called it an apocalypse. I have to wonder if she's talking about 
the end of the world and that people really do need to choose whether they're going to serve the Lord or not. I wonder if that scared her. I was watching one of the videos and some people said she was probably suffering postpartum depression from her baby. When you are dealing in the occult, you can bring forth demons. I remember someone in my family telling me about somebody they were around who was doing a spell and the person doing the spell said oh I've released something something I'm guessing they did not want released and I'm wondering in this person's case Danielle Johnson if she released demons and those demons took over her to do this horrific act because what she did, of course, was not of God. This was horrific. I've heard of people, you know, doing things, but we also have to understand that there's spirits that could cause people to do these things if you're not protected by Christ, okay? Even so, you shouldn't go out and do those types of things. We have to be very careful. And we are in these last days where demonic forces are out here like none other. This world is just not physical. It's spiritual. Okay, we weren't called to be just physical beings, but we have a spirit. We have a soul inside of us okay and when we are called to believe on the Lord we have to see things not just in the physical but also in the spiritual y'all it helps keep us protected and when we have angels protecting us they can let us know when the situations or when things are getting ready to happen that we need to be armored up we always have to have on the armor of God okay because the devil roams around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour and when you're doing things like occult practices like I said, that can invite all kinds of demons around you. And they can take a hold of you if you are not protected in the spirit, okay? It's very dangerous. This woman not only took other lives, she took her own too. So that was something that was very, very serious, okay? Get out if you are in the occult doing occult practices stop doing those please repent and turn to the Lord because he is the only one that can see our future he has it all planned out and he has it planned in such a way that we cannot see it from beginning to end that's in Ecclesiastes okay it's not for us to know everything. And that's what, when you are practicing in the occult, you, you're trying to play God. And you may be able to see some things, but you're not omnipresent like God is, okay? So again, please do not practice any type of, of witchcraft and there are other things that can be considered witchcraft um, outside of um, occult practices uh, manipulation can be a form of witchcraft because you're trying to control a situation 
and you're trying to do something to somebody that isn't right and you're trying to control them and how they act that's also um, witchcraft so I just wanted to speak on that very sad situation prayers for the young girl who lived through this my prayers are with her and both sides uh, of the family who saw this you know who you know are experiencing this tragedy okay all right i hope you all have a good rest of your day be blessed bye bye